What's up you guys, Neo Random here with a Love and Hip Hop Review Season 1 Episode 4. I know I'm late, I know, like, the struggle has been real with school and just all this other stuff. But, let's get into it, let's get it going. So, Omarion, Fizz, and Soulja Boy, you know, they hitting the trade spot. They, you know, be balling it up and won and, you know, I guess, you know, Mona said, you know what? We finna show you y'all how it's done. We get to the basketball court, go to the recreation center, you know, throw up the ball and, you know, get it how you live. They talking about they gotta escape the world and, you know, it's uh, different situations going on. Baby mama drama and women in general. And <clears throat> everybody talking about their situation. And I, I forgot who it was. I was like, oh, yeah, man, you know, we just gotta have some time for ourselves. And I'm like, yeah, you know, do what you gotta do. But, you know... <laughs> Poor soldier boy, he just gonna stay skinny. Bless that baby heart. He needs some protein or some peanut butter. Like that baby needs something. You give him some a biscuit or something. Like last yesterday it was a uh, what two piece. It was eight nine cent Tuesday at Popeyes. Baby, get you some uh, biscuit and some chicken. Like for real, get you like five biscuits. Bless that baby boy. He just so skinny. Um. <clears throat> So, you know, after all that is said and done, Omari ain't going to get back up to, oh, yeah, just know if I beat you guys, it's not hard feelings. It's because I'm just that good. I'm just like, all right, bro. Okay. Oh, oh, all right. Mm. Good for you. So, um, after all that, um, I think we'll get to, yeah, I think, what's that girl name? The, the one that's like shaped like a, I don't know, Nikki. Nikki and her mama, y'all, her mama give me, um, what is that, Angie, Angie off of Mob Wives or whatever, the one with the big lips and the real one, the one, I need my guys, that one, <laughs> she give me that kind of tease, but she talking to her mama, her mama was telling her like, you know, what's been going on, and she was telling her the whole situation with her and Ma Molly. Mally Mall, whatever his name is. And she was like, Yeah, you know, your dad don't even want him at the house. And he's irrelevant. He's not worth it. And she was like, Yeah, but mom, look, he gave me a promise ring. She was like, Oh, what? <laughs> and he's like, Yeah, I kind of, you know, I'm going to forgive him. We broke up, blah, blah, blah. But he got some bum B with him. And so it's just such that she's showing a picture of, I think her name is Masika. Y'all, I'm getting names together, boy. I'm getting them together today. But yeah, some chick named Masika. And, um, and uh, she's like, ugh. She, um, God, what she say? Some cubic zirconium. She was like, yeah, girl. Yeah, that's worth one of my, uh, one of my rhinestones on my finger. I'm like, really? The girl not ugly, to be honest. I think Masika looks better than Nikki, but, you know, that's, that's none of my business. That's none of my business. I'm not Miley Mall. And to be quite frank, I'm gonna shut up. But yeah, so... You know, they going off on ends. And y'all, did y'all catch the TV she told her when she was uh, talking about Ray J? She was like, yeah, the one with the big penis? I was like, girl, I seen bigger penises than that. I don't know what you're talking about, but okay. We're going to say he big. All right. He okay. But yeah, so we get to Hazel and Bird, y'all. Oh, oh, Lord. I think Hazel would need a moment with Jesus. Like, y'all, this is the best she ever looked, though. This is the best to me. To me, this is the best she has ever looked. I was like, girl, makeup still ain't on point. But I guess with the blonde, I guess it wasn't so heavy, maybe. It kind of made everything blend in instead of her looking burnt like orange. So, hey, you know. But you know how she is. She give it, uh, she give it a uh, burger or whatever. Y'all know this episode is brought to you in part by Ciroc. Chug that hoe. Like, for real. But, yeah. Uh, excuse me. She get with Bird. And they, you know, she got her own apartment. So, you know, y'all know how Hazel is. I got my own apartment. And we ready to go. Ready to get stuff started. I get the pop off. I don't have to hide. <laughs> I don't have to hide in the living room, in a closet, in the bathroom. Have sex with Bird. We can do anywhere we want to. So, we going to do it on this pop-up mattress. What's up, kid? How you live? So, yeah, they, um. 
throwing throwing up, throwing up. Watch y'all fall out. Pour it up, pour it up. I'm not a song, but yeah. <laughs> so you know, she chugging Shirai, he chugging Shirai. He's like, man, just girl, just keep drinking, just keep drinking, girl. So she drinking. I mean, she throwing that mug back. I never had Shirai before, but I thought it was vodka, and vodka is pretty strong. So you know, they just drinking. She tossing the back and so and he's like, girl, take out them clothes and let me, you know, let me see what you got. So she proceeds to clapping and shaking and doing whatever else she has to do to get Youngberg from here to here. So, <laughs> so they proceed to, you know, uh, do the mattress mumbo, get it in, you know, bump uglies, you know. Orange meets monkey and you know, they just go in and go at it and I'm just like you you go girl And then she woke up and she after amazing, you know mattress mobile and sex was just great I had to see where we stand and you yeah, already know here it is again where are we gonna be and blah 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 and i forgot what old boy said but you know young Berg ain't trying to be hooked up with nobody so he talking to her and she's like I, i'm down for you and i'm this b and i'm this and i'm that and why aren't you with me and this girl been together for eight years for eight years y'all like i'm sorry but i'm gonna say this and i'm gonna be mean but she reminds me of how some gay people, some gay men do when, you know, they try to, you know, I guess suck the pink. Dang, I'm spilling tea. But, you know, when you try to evidently turn a straight guy or maybe you get a DL dude and he has a, a or, you know, you're trying to get him to stay with you. But he ain't going to worry and pull with you because he, you know, scared of what his identity is going to be. It's kind of like that to me, but not really. But she... She just don't get it. He's just not that into you. I'm just like, oh, Yeah, I don't know where I was going with that whole deal thing. But you know how it is. They're not going to change. They're going to stay with what they like. So, or maybe that wasn't a good example. Dang, my bad. <laughs> but, yeah. <clears throat> oh, boy, going to be who he is. And, you know, you've been with him for eight years. Like, girl, get you somebody else. Get you some new penis. You can get you something that's bigger than then what he got, but I mean, hey, he must be chopping it up, DJing it down in the bed, cause I just I don't see it. But yeah, y'all. So once all of a sudden she's like, get out of here, do what you gotta do. Home girl cried in her bed, and they showed it. I was like, y'all, y'all don't have to show her cry. Y'all already know it's hard to look at her sometimes. But y'all gonna put the camera on her. Oh lord, hard to look at the. It's hard. I need to get it cut. But yeah, so we get to. Um, Tiara and Morgan, they meet up at some little gal. No, I was about to say gondola, gondola, but that's the other one with the gondola. Uh, they meet up somewhere outside, you know, uh, talking about the whole situation with the purse fiasco and all that stuff. Morgan felt bad for um, Tiara on all her looks, that little excursion with her and Ray J. Oh, excuse me. So she's um. I guess, you know, they've been, they talking, and then she was like, girl, do you know Masika? She was like, nah, well, yeah, she was at my uh, tattoo party or whatever, and so Morgan talks to her about, you know, what's going on, and then and walks Masika, Masika, like, hey, y'all, how y'all doing? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So they talk about Molly Mall. Oh, I think I said his name right. Look at me. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? So, yeah, um, they're, uh, you know, proceeds talking about this. And y'all, why? If Morgan was my friend, that Messy Morgan. How about that? Eminem, Messy Morgan. That's exactly what she is. Because they were talking. And you're supposed to be loyal to your friend. You showing pictures of how this girl looked when she did not have no plastic surgery. And I was like, really? And then she got on a convention like, I know it's shady, but I got to be with my girls. But I thought... That was your girl. See, you connect to too many people. And like they said before, you need to, uh, I don't know, you need to figure out where your loyalties lie. But I guess, and I'm just like, after this episode, oh, excuse me, y'all just woke up. After this, um, I can't think of it, this little episode of show. Like, who is going to be, I don't know, what is she, a publicist or something? Like, who is going to want you because you messy and you don't hold secrets, like. 
Girl, but I mean, keep spilling tea because you do it a good job. How about that? Miss Mona number two, like, girl, you can, you, like, man, talk about secure her spot for the next three seasons? Man, homegirls, like, look, Mona, I'm going to help you out. I'm going to set you up some scenes. I'm going to get these people together. We're going to get some hair pulls. We're going to do this. And people going to show boobs and breasts even though they fake. But I got you, Mona. Don't worry about it, girl. We finna, we finna gross. We finna have 15 million views. I promise you. So, yeah. After all that said and done, I think we get to Fizz and Amanda, and he takes her off to, I think, a, I don't know if it's a club, Colonda, whatever that boat is, they in the boat, and they, um, getting it together, um, I think that was a four, I don't know, but yeah, they, he's like, look, I want to, I don't think he said wifey, but he's trying to, was like, look, I'm ready for you to take next step. I want you to, you know, be in my son's life. And that baby, that baby just wants somebody to, you know, just just help him sometimes. He don't want to take care of the baby all the time. And she was like, it's a big step. And I'm like, girl, I know. You You already know. I think her name is Monique. You know she crazy. She hit you with a deal, though. So you better watch your back. But then he proceeds to, this girl has cheated on him. And I'm just like... Yeah, she really got to be a keeper if you stay with her. So, <laughs> good luck to you, Fizz. Like, you can't be watching your baby and watching her see if she going to sleep with somebody else. But, hey, you go. Go, Fizz. I'm proud of you. So, yeah, we get to Marion and uh, his mama. And she going to need some anointing oil. And she needs to be blessed, too. She needs to be in the prayer line. Because, Why? Just the stuff she shoot and she talk, she was like, uh, I didn't have all this when I was 16. You know, when I was 16, I was pregnant, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. And she is, excuse me, I guess she's 10 years older than me. I'm just like, are you jealous? Because, I mean, at least she's in a better state than you are not trying to be mean or, you know, not, you know, attentive to your situation. But, dang, like, I think she said something about she had seizures and... Um, knowing that somebody that has one they can be prevented, stop drinking alcohol and all this other stuff, but I don't know the situation or severity of the uh illness. But yeah, I'm just in what she was throwing, I just yeah, I don't, don't want to talk about nobody, mama. It's like I just I wouldn't hear for it. I'm just like she her attitude was stank and how she dealing with Martin is a good son, he didn't go off on her mama, but at some point y'all be like, yo bro, chill, you need to slow it down with the all this crap that you're talking, like for real. And she, basically a martin is a cash cow. Bam. So we get to um, we get we get to the ass cap award. Y'all thought the ass cap awards was some kind of porn thing, but not so. I, I just thought ugh, I thought so. So yeah, we get to the ass cap. Homeboy uh Berg is with some new uh pop we're gonna call him popcorn hoe. <laughs> And uh, in walks Hazel E and Masika, and they just, yeah, girl, we don't come on, we don't turn up because that's how we do. We don't care about Berg, we just want to see what's up in this mug. So, yeah, they um, well, they were big chilling at first, and mom was like, uh uh, mm -mm, I don't, we, we don't do this. We know you're not invited. Here, your VIP pass, get up in there because you're really not relevant, but yeah, just get in there, uh. Hazley, and then you brought Masika too? Who y'all? But whatever. So they come in, and then, like, from a 180 degree angle, you know, was, well, you know, the straightaway shot, we see that uh, they did a what? Mid shot, long shot, whatever, full view of Berg and whatever the other girl is. And she's like, oh, is that Berg? I think Masika was like, girl, yeah. <laughs> I don't think Masika occurred. She was just, uh, she was just on her screen time because <laughs> she need that coin. So they go walk over there and introduce themselves. And she was talking to Berg and blah, blah, blah. I don't know. kind of forgot what happened at that point. I think she slapped him or whatever. He, she was just like, why don't you want to, you know, go to the ass couple was Thought you want to go by yourself. Uh, boo boo. He, did, he just didn't want to go with you. Like, did, did, you, did we not get that? He's just going to screw you. You've been together for eight years. Jesus bless this woman. Bless this baby with some common sense. That's that's all I'm asking. Just she needs she needs to be slapped in forehead with common sense, and then maybe she changed her hair color. She will be okay. Ooh, okay. Ooh, just give it to her. Give it to her, Lord, for real. So she sees the you know going going on popping off. I think she popped him, and I think she spilled water on the girl. 
bless that baby heart because Bird didn't care for that girl at all. I think she was just there to receive a meal or, you know, just to be seen on TV. Like, I, I just don't know. She was just in the wilderness, just didn't care because if somebody would have slapped me or did whatever, I don't know what happened to the girl, but I just know Bird got slapped and I think she got kind of thrown off in the process. I would have been on the next season of Hip Hop at uh, Atlanta, Hollywood, New York, because I would have beat uh, Oh Girl Knows in, like for real. But let's let's get into what's really hood, which is the fight, uh, whatever the little masseuse party or however you want to call it, between, um, oh no, that's not it, Soldier Boy, blah, 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 I don't care, Soldier Boy and Oh Girl, Nia. The whole little baby situation. Bop next. Uh, Omarion <laughs> and his baby shower. I'm so proud of. Oh my God, I forgot her name. I forgot her name. April. She didn't go off on her mama. You go, girl. Can't really talk about this situation because I don't know nobody. I'm not going to get anybody pregnant. But yeah, that situation, oh, you know, April, I commend her for not popping that woman in her face. Like, for real. How you going to tell somebody that they not fit to be a mother at their baby shower? How in the hell do you think that's the perfect setting? And then they over, they in this little area, and then people can still hear them. I thought the mom would at least, you know, go inside. Like, let's go inside and let's talk. But you want to pop off at this baby shower. And she, I, I was like, ugh, she don't look like she, you know, ready to be seen or, you know, ready to talk. But it didn't turn out good. And I'm already need to check his mom because that was her baby shower. Like, don't turn up at nobody's baby shower, please. Like, come on. And did she even bring a gift? But yeah. We go into this thing with Nikki Morgan, Tierra Marie, and uh, Masika. And <laughs> before Nikki even walk in, uh, Masika already got that like face, like let this let 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 her say something, let her say something to me. <laughs> I'm knocking tricks out. So, yeah. <clears throat> Nikki gets there and they start talking, yada, yada, yada. So, uh, Mally is your boyfriend? No, Mally is my boyfriend. Well, what he said to me was that uh, he uh, didn't know you. He don't know you. You were his uh, whatever thoughts for the two days that I was gone. And I don't understand why that you're a homeworker. And she's like, how am I a homeworker? And... He broke up. Well, what happened was he was with me still two weeks. In, I mean, two days. And you just already hopped up on him. Maybe you didn't know who you are. Maybe you're a family pet or whatever. And then the funny thing, I think she said, girl, please. I was looking for a uh, condominium with him. She's like, oh, condoms? Girl, we don't use them. And I'm just like, they didn't edit that out? They didn't edit that out? They didn't edit the part where she said she don't use condoms? Girl, I'll get checked because... Miley Ma don't look like he just played with women. That's, that's all I'm going to say. I don't know if it's true, but that's all I'm going to say. See how soft his voice is? His balls? I'm going to stop. But yeah, so I was just like, from this point on, you know, that's when she said, girl, you're a pet and you're our pet. And my sister just got up. I was like, girl, you look thirsty. And it's like, bow, hit in the face with some water. And know, girl was like, I'm just, you know, selling. Maybe she, you know, wanted to be in some or or, or, uh, or whatever it's called commercial. She was just like, yes, I still look good when I'm wearing. Then they proceed to fight, which the fight was, I don't know, it was okay. But everybody pulled her like usual. I think Masika probably got some hits. But it was funny. She's like, y'all, get this deflatable bee away from me. And I was like, yes, because whole girl, just that's just too much surgery. But like, Masika had surgery too. But if I would choose, Masika look way better than Nikki. But, you know. Hey, and Nikki was just like, girl, I still look better than you. And I'm wet. I've been in fights. Why are you mad, boo? Why are you mad? And I'm just like, and then this hoe had the nerve to say, don't come for me unless I send for you. Get you a new line. Oh, my gosh. Really? Get you something else. Can you more need to, uh, need to pin that or coin that? Boy, I swear they be. Who let her say that? Really? You could have came with something better like, girl, your face is, you know, snatched like mine or, you know. Um, but how would you really come back with something when you said you don't use condoms? Girl, okay. PSA, P, public service announcement. Strap it up. Look at that. All right, y'all. That was uh, my review for Love and Hip Hop. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you liked at the beginning of the video. If I held you to nine, 19 minutes and uh, 50 seconds, thank you for watching. Peace out.